All right, give me one second. It's now connecting to YouTube. All right, you should be set now. I'm ready to go. Okay, thanks. Um, are y'all good to go, Curtin and David? Yeah, also ready. All right, thanks. Advantage one is arms racing, lethal, autonomous weapons are driving an artificial intelligence arms race TW-12-18. The world <laughs> is locked into an AI arms race that flips the military tech on its head. A small startup can quickly reduce software to render the offensive edge of a superpower, obsolete, creating lethal autonomous weapons puts humanity at risk. Nations like China and Russia see a strategic advantage while other men have followed this. Turks is a chain reaction, and a small nation full pressure to push the edge of military AI. I will overlook and safety computer scientists aren't sure how AI reaches conclusion with ineffective safeguards. Global AI arms case use competition. Look grim and artificial intelligence arms racing leads to rapid and regulated AI development. Con 18 laws could be hacked and followed into the hands of bad actors. May target Innocent civilians potential to ignite a global air arms. I said, advanced AI capabilities and weapons are increasing rapidly. If a large program is perceived as substantial, countries will feel increasing pressure to find shortcuts around safety precautions. Every that becomes inevitable. And unsafe AI development causes extinction. Tech spirals before we prepare for it. Basham at all 14. With brand new tech and brand new risks that our species might not be able to survive in AI with a human level intelligence, things that go bad in a hurry. Machines would get better at doing research and make themselves better with a feedback loop, a loop. AI could go to super intelligence before we prepare for it. Suppose you were a super intelligence and your goal was to make a paper clip. You would realize that the existence of humans is an impediment. Humans will such you off. You want to reduce that probability. You would want to get Humans, you realize that human bodies consist of atoms and could be made, used to make paper clips. Any goal we give AI uh, could bite us. And advantage to a cyber attack laws are super vulnerable to cyber attacks. It's impossible to protect against multiple threats. Unit air. 17. Whether autonomous machines can be made foolproof against hacking? No. Much innovation in autonomous tech is from the private sector. There are risks integrating civilian tech where military security has not been designed to. And we're AWS in a communication and denied environment. How would operators know? This is a not been compromised. AI delivers results that are currently incomprehensible. Humans may be unable to surface a safety feature. A single failure could cause a cascading effects that humans cannot detect or stop. Enemies will exploit vulnerabilities, whether through hacking, spoofing, or behavioral hacking. Greater complexity can make it harder to identify incorrect vulnerabilities. Imagine AWS was ready to attack allies and attacks on laws, threat, and weapon capabilities, accurate info, and national security handle. 17. Compromising of automated systems may allow for disruption of critical infrastructure and national security networks. Winning cyber supremacy could ensure systems could be shut down or controlled. Information might be manipulated. It will become increasingly difficult to guarantee reliability to data. Decision making will be affected. Trust and system made a climb failure it could lead to unintended fatalities, and that escalates to nuclear war fodder. 18. The use of cyber capabilities will complicate the escalation ladder. The hackers could disrupt communication channel, reducing command and competence of their weapon systems. Aggressors might hamper battle management systems and make it more difficult to conduct further responses. Cyber attack on system uh, control of weapons might be interpreted as a direct attack on nuclear forces. This could still lead to a spiral of mistrust and worse thinking. Cyber attacks might superly warning systems. Cyber attacks might reduce viable alternatives, compressing the escalation ladder. This might create pressure to use them or lose them. The option to act preemptively raise the likelihood of uncontrollable escalation. And AI nukes independently escalate. Bob, 19. Russia may be integrating AI into a new nuclear torpedo. The US and China are considering injecting AI into their nuclear weapons and inevitable ones. Non conventional weapons become dominated by AI, nuclear holocaust by AI getting hacked by a technical error, or by badly misjudging a situation, by rectified by unmanned vehicles making the decision. In 1983, incident had petrol trusted technology. The world might have gone to nuclear war over a technological malfunction in a country like China with limited nuclear capabilities, might seek to integrate AI with the hope of accelerating deployment speed. And even a limited nuclear war would cause extinction by science curve. 17, the biggest kill overall is a nuclear weapon biology can contain extinctions, a real possibility greatly. Every model suggests as few as 50 bombs are only one weapon in every 200 within a global nuclear arsenal, but even a limited conflict could still imperil the whole world in limited nuclear wars. Unlikely, a single very quickly spiral that control terminate the human species. And advantage three is crisis stability laws cause instability and escalation. For example, there. 21st, the machine speeds compress the time for strategic decision making. Fears of force could suffer decisive strikes. Could translate into pressure to strike first, uh, even nuclear second. The speed of AWS and other advanced capabilities suppress decision making. Leaders who lose ability to control escalation. Third, advantages of AWS are under service. Increasing conventional counterforce. A conventional campaign could appear as initial moves to degrade command and control. Could be pressured to escalate nuclear use. Solid still the ability to do so. Finally, AWS could misunderstand adversary resolved as imminent attack and laws got deterrence on lower their threshold for conflict Wong at all 20. Autonomous systems could make escalation and crisis instability more likely. There may be incentives to use autonomous capabilities early and extensively. This would raise force strike instability. Autonomous systems could make the use of force easier. Autonomous systems could lead to arms race instability that exacerbate uncertainties. And nuclear deterrence is true. Absent laws, Miller. 16. The most important and comprehensive analyses indicate nuclear deterrence contributed to deterrence in Saddam uses CBWs in Gulf War from 1648 through 1945. Major powers went to war seven times per century. The after nuclear deterrence, this history has not repeated itself and percentage loss of wars just declined dramatically. The association is at least suggests a powerful limiting effect of nuclear deterrence on humanity's willingness to go 
to war. It most recently looked like World Wars 1 and 2. Thus, the abacus you've resolved, say, tend to ban lethal autonomous weapons. Lethal autonomous weapons are CRS-20 weapon systems that can select and negate targets without further intervention by a human. This contrasts with human on the loop system solvency. Bans work. The Chemical Weapons Convention improves Freeburg. 19. Ban killer robots is feasible, feasible if someone's building vast swarms. You know they have to be fully autonomous. The vast model is the Chemical Weapons Convention, which has a robust enforcement mechanism. There is also a modern new machine, which has inspectors who can rapidly respond to reported violation challenge. Inspections are a crucial tool. It might be possible to set an AI to catch an AI. Countries need to use their own intelligence agencies to watch for violence, uh, violations. Once compliance became a norm, it became harder to reduce poison gas given widespread anxiety about lethal AI. It should be possible to reach a similar consensus. And only a universal prohibition solves signal would independently solve circumvention. Goose. 15. Fully autonomous. Autonomous weapons once a developer will not be possible to put the genie back in the bottle of specific treaty banning weapons. Sigma has a weapon as a powerful effect even on those who have not joined the treaty. Less they risk international condemnation. A regulatory approach would fail as countries would use them in inappropriate ways and during the heat of battle or in dire circumstances. Once legitimized, the weapons would proliferate. Only a preemptive treaty will prevent that. Thus, uh, framing the centers and maximizing its well being, extinction always the capsule. 14. We have strong reason to run near term extinction and extreme high extinction is irreversible. We'll expect to progress more in the past and time will better evidence about how to evaluate extinction. If we did research, we know for certain whether or people will process the cause of waiting is well compared with keeping options open. Not to view one. Africa's one theory, otherwise a negative influence of abuse in the way to check back one theory is dropped through the debate or competing in terms of the highest layer of the round. The one year too short to be able to rectify abuse and adequately cover substance. No RVIs because you have six minutes to go for them, whereas only have a three minute or two hour to respond, so I get crushed on time to Second apocalyptic images challenge time and power structures to create futures of social justice early 17. The continuing importance of apocalyptic narrative forms is to drop conservative realism to maintain the status quo. State logic of its impossibility have long integrated the United States apocalyptic form, transform nuclear waste into a prophecy at the end of the United States rather than means for imagining its continuation. Perspective transforms the present into a speculative space where catastrophe produces not only unevenly distributed damage, but also revolutionary forms of social justice. The future will be unimaginably different from the present. Apocalyptic mode allow narratives to move beyond the logic of risk and possibilities of our own death and death. Everything else will come. Uh, so I cut Hurley at everything else will come and didn't read the last card. Oh, where did you say you marked Hurley one more time? Everything else will come. Okay, um, good. Yeah. Uh, AI nuke scenario, what are they used for? Uh, nuclear command and control systems. Okay, so are these just like weapons that have AI programmed into them or like what exactly are they? Because like the evidence just talks about like the Poseidon and like a bunch of other just like regular AI. So yeah, so it's different in different countries. Um, the I guess the one that this evidence talks about for the most part is something that's happening primarily in the US, Russia and China, uh, where countries are trying to give complete control of their nuclear arsenals over to artificial intelligence. What this- okay, so uh, It's like all nuclear weapons then? Like, I guess, where's the bright line between just like automated nuclear weapons and then like non-automated nuclear weapons if all nukes have the potential to have like AI integrated? If all nukes have the potential. I'm confused as to what the question is. So like uh, the are you asking what the affirmative ban? Like, and what you were saying was like, Russia may be integrating AI into a new nuclear torpedo. So I guess like how many nuclear weapons are like the countries you said, US, Russia, China, like integrating AI into? I don't know exact numbers. I guess hypothetically, it's possible to do it for every nuclear weapon, but I'm not sure what exactly each country's modernization efforts look okay. like. Got it. Um, the Heine evidence about the arms races are the cyber attacks, uh, who attacks who? Uh, states could attack each other or non-state actors could attack. How would states attack each other? How would they like find the capabilities? Uh, states do cyber attacks all the time. Uh, th for example, Russia cyber attacked the U.S. and like nobody did anything about it for, I don't know, it was like a week in December or something. Uh, my evidence is makes a specific claim about why it would be really bad for that to happen to lethal autonomous weapons. Uh, so it would just sort of require exporting technologies that already okay, exist and applying them to laws. About, where does this evidence talk about laws? This evidence, I don't know, I guess the easiest way is the name of the article is Maturing Autonomous Cyber Weapon Systems, and it writes about it in the context of autonomy and cyber weapons. That is also true in the context of the Unidir evidence, as well as certain scenarios and the Futter evidence. Okay, got it. Uh, the solvency section, the Friedberg evidence, What? why does like a convention over chemical weapons prove that the same thing will happen with laws? 
Yeah, this is an argument. I guess it's an argument for what normal means would be for passing the affirmative, what enforcement would look like. Uh, it indicates that enforcement has worked for this treaty uh, because it does things like, uh, I don't know, if a country violates, it would produce like international naming and shaming, possibly sanctions, stuff like that. Uh, but international consequences, and it's generally worked to why, deter so the like, CBWs. The first, the first advantage about when Jason talks about like China and Russia, why would they like care if they're internationally shamed? Why would they care? Uh, well, I don't know. The U.S. like uh, has these, I don't know, like basically battles over sanctions all the time. They're obviously an effective tool. Uh, Wait, so I would ask you like why Russia, Russia doesn't. They don't follow that. Yeah, so I'd ask if this is true, why isn't Russia just like deploying CB CBWs in the Baltics right now? Like obviously no, no, international I treaties can be effective at stopping countries from proliferating. All right, I'll go ahead and send it. The order will be three off and then the case. Um, case in the order of solvency, arms control, cyber, and then stability. Did you say three off? Yeah. Let me just open it up. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm good whenever everybody else is. All right, is everyone good? No, I still didn't get it. Oh, okay. You replied all, right? Yes. Okay, I just got it. I want to spam for some reason. Okay, I'm good. Okay, great. First off, U.S. leads to AI arms race now, but increased Chinese development has made a close to G. 20 critics suggest that China's leader in AI space critics underestimate the talent of an academic institution. No one can the intellectual power of American academia and tech and AI. The U.S. will continue to lead in AI. AI is not a monolithic single piece of technology, saying that one country is ahead of behind the start. The ban inhibits U.S. development of LAWs, but China is strategically ambiguous and exposed to seizing opportunity of ILA. Kenya, 18 Beijing's prior repeated announcement of U.S. cyber hegemonicism and powerful cooperation not concerned with the own development of often cyber capabilities to provide a cluster of AWS characterized with strategic ambiguity, banning weapon systems. Could be a simple while implicitly legitimizing the development of fully autonomous weapons. AI between China's diplomatic and military approach, Beijing approach the island. Terms of legal warfare to exploit either than be constrained China and maybe strictly ambiguous international considerations to allow greater flexibility. The LEW's own opinion, rhetorical commitment to have been extra pressure on the United States, waiting rhetorical dominance and important ability to have great power possesses. And Chinese military will continue to uh, pursue military with limited transparency. And AI superiority determines competitive military dominance. The ban trends U.S. security guarantee and props to Chinese influence. White 19. Military innovation generates sufficient capability and power protection. Paradigm in the alliance of the autonomous weapons system could be deployed to appear sophisticated HOED persists. AWS reflecting the U.S. military documentation. Developers could on secrecy against deterrence. Value lack of traditional acquisition reduces the ability for state to maintain committed dominance and publicly demonstrates that AWS incentive to demonstrate capability. But again, AWS can be promoted by great power state central warfare. US needs to maintain an appearance of dominance as well as its allies that preserve the hedge as well as allies that are trying to condemn the security and AWS to conditions of reckoning its energy and undermining US security guarantee will, under, will continue to grow Chinese influence, reducing the harm that US contributes to China's efforts to reduce US influence, becoming an active developer will give influence over how AWS is perceived successful adoption of AWS would be demonstrated gain geopolitical advantage. And Chinese leadership causes political and pure transition works straight at Jersey 15. China's appetite for cultural and the most important supplier tech for weapons of WMD to nuclear weapons to nuclear trade commitments to train significant momentum after proxy. 
Parks, then you can attach 1986 remain on operation nuclear reactors to influence the China and continue to nuclear project in Pakistan that under repercussion China's remarkable consensus that undermine global non proliferation region with the cocoa from China. I mean, it's committed to a long term nuclear relationship with Pakistan, unlikely to change without sustained international plus to bring China into compliance with the commitments. And US China war caused extinction in 2017. Experts believe that such a conflict would be catastrophic to the entire world, but determined what's actually ending life as we know it would set off global economic crisis and creating a power walking the future. China would be looking as World War III. They would go this unparalleled violence and energy would under and supply rates and cause global recession. Next off, strong deterrence is stifling DMZ tensions, greedy 20 tensions are on the rise in North Korea, redistricting aggressive military pushing ancient interests and arms social guard components among the demilitarized and Pyongyang reason to strategy of one's business in Washington, North Korea to continue testing Pyongyang and destructing lays in office, also designed to search for station and remove Jane's failure to deliver the reform of sanctions, uh, the security in the peninsula doesn't look like heading in a good direction. SCR1 deters conflict along the DMZ Valley's 15. SCR1 reduces conflict of aggression against North Korea. SCR1 would identify and reduce emissions quicker than human strength. Just could the humans have difficulty controlling multiple systems simultaneously. We have their attackers and trainers and choosing to overwhelm operators. The human in the loop system reliance on human input creates a window for target has given a time the critical threats to relay match for the DMZ defense already stretched in the sense 250 kilometers and force it to react as quickly as possible for any threats. The system's ability to engage without waiting for an operator permission make it far more likely to be prepared. The thus raises the risk of failure for nuclear offense and raises the threshold for armed conflict deterring aggression and permitting stability. And North Korean land invasion over the DMZ kills millions and escalates extinction getting 17. A second Korean World War through 200,000 to 300,000 million casualties within the first 90 days into 200,000 simulators. My analysis focuses on the conventional North Korean attack across the DMZ. The primary objective would be to see Seoul and inflict a maximum damage. Simmons and Seoul will still be exposed to deadly barrage and North Korean will launch military and hundreds of mobile sickness against civilian targets that have been also deployed submarines and nuclear capable systems to retain a second strike capability with Korean regime seek nuclear capabilities ultimate guarantee of its success and survival and the attempt to the invading force make it still take weeks for the combat to dislodge and seals the Korean massive plan instrument and retaliation plan forces a target destruction and sanction even if it doesn't cross the nuclear threshold. Next off, state should one increase access to high value data AI skills and publicly funded R&D two increase public use of AI including for national security three create sector specific AI strategies to discourage development and adaptation fourth and create innovation friendly regulations through uh, algorithmic accountability and fifth the private workers with tools from a management uh, workforce transition and second eliminate their nuclear arsenals. The counterpoint solves by creating a comprehensive national AI strategy, New 18. It is critical to have to fund a comprehensive national AI strategy support of AI organization, other organization to access to data, AI skills, and public funded R&D research, accelerate public research, and the government can boost the value of AI for AI development and AI adaptation and mm-hmm. industries to sector specific AI strategies, federal agencies develop sector specific strategies to help you share their policies, foster innovation for these strategies, policy makers should be algorithmic kind of ability to provide workers with tools to manage AI driven worker benefits. And disarm is necessary. Nuclear war and deterrence collapse is inevitable. Multiple hotspots back in 17. Rushing closer to nuclear war, the number of ongoing hotspots that in theory could go nuclear and time use related to situation. Instead of nuclear weapons outside of NPT and Southwest, other use North Korea, US, South Korea, US, Russia, or Israel, and Israel, US, China could heat up nuclear states and responsible acts and strike the conflict and the potential to escalate quickly. Nuclear disarmament is the only way to get rid of the countries of deprioritizing most world the values of international cooperation. Nuclear disarmament is the only way to get rid of the threat. And the perm fails laws are necessary to create global peace of, of process and avoid retaliation. There's no risk of conventional conflict for bilateral team. Loss prevents conflict by providing a credible means of retaliation. Loss could accelerate nuclear disarmament agents capable of nuclear weapons use. You can award guaranteed self annihilation states and law laws could provide a kind of winter safe deterrence by providing states with a credible threat of retaliation with the contrary risk of conflict and real really old Hisk of a nuclear annihilation of the case. Starting with solvency first, the Freeburg, event, the Freeburg evidence turns the advantage of enforcement requires more development of laws is a line in their own evidence, which links to the rapid unregulated AI development in the first scenario. Second is that the Ackerman does, evidence doesn't talk about any enforcement since that laws are bad, but doesn't make a claim about posturing or foreshadowing. Third is that the goose doesn't, uh, the goose evidence doesn't apply to the efforts too vague. There's no explanation for enforcement or no impact to international condemnation. Fourth is that it gets into the wrong hands and laws are way better than humans. Because if you're not harmless weapons, there's many advantages over humans. So more progress react faster, even if all countries are not to by AWS, so only be unprevented creation of virtual ramp up and different permits to be used. Because weapons is not because is much harder to find air force hand weapons makes effective ins- uh, inspections of hospitals like nurses who continue research and to give a lower chances of detection of autonomous weapons systems and we have to build up deterrent capabilities and lack of international consensus on definition which is a prerequisite to solvency great powers will purposely uh, purposely frustrate any attempt to implement the principle 20. Mm-hmm. Australia, Israel, Australia, South Korea, UK, and the US block formal negotiations on the land of Lhasa mm-hmm. impeding creation of common definition private or own definition however the word and definition are intended to be from one another after the previous session does not make any harmonious of definition enable the uniform understanding of autonomy lack of common interest and because the effort to agree on well then is working definition of land can be directly clarified and turn all these really nasty to be a condition for binding instrument the arms race advantage first is no the global sprint or arms race claims claims over exactly normal military behavior and organized actual spending per, uh, pairing and share 18. there's an arms race depiction in order to building weapons we see military then see robot and autonomy don't really see clearly fully, fully autonomous stuff when you say arms are going to be doing really kids throwing around with these concepts that autonomous arms are when the arms is about thing military military is only invest in you protect and improve their defenses who are nine and arms is like an actual emphasis a small factor of spending uh skip the next card laws are better at following the rules of, of war and regulations are better than a bank or 18 autonomous weapons should not be abandoned but rather be a regulated tension that they in pursuit of peace these weapons do not exist it is a valuable text that other W's and more and more for the human network is unregulated. They're not the use sort of blanket. Then humans are not a good or possible robot. So there's a great technology lack of empathy. Kind of always think that human emissions amplify rather than minimize the air and conflict. Cut the card at conflict. The cyber advantage first. Modern and sensitive capabilities are critical for alliance, defense infrastructure, create security and war fighting capabilities. Richard, 20 globally integrated operations, essential defense operations. We want to work with our allies to create security advantages and perfect strategic deterrence and operations of commanders significantly affect the strategic process. War fighting capabilities depends on enacting decisive factors and adversaries. Try to deter adversaries from conducting strategic attacks against our allies. The 
will reduce our adversary to continue monitoring tissue capabilities and switch to flexibility to control those NC3. We'll recover for risk minutes and foundation for deterrence. We must continue monitoring their capabilities. Adversary increasing the uh, capable force. We must modernize time to maintain a viable deterrent. Uh, the risk of cyber attack is one in three billion. Students every warrant Mueller. Ten to top players in Harley and new anxiety. Terrorist groups have exhibited limited design progress going into atomic effort. Would like to be scarcely going forward. The third of the material is unlikely given the resistance of hardware that we have a transport a long distance over an unfamiliar channel being pursued by security forces. Cut the card out forces. The civilian advantage first is that laws decrease propensity for errors, reduces human uh, induced mistakes. Delivery. 17 humans are required sleep 2,000 calories for breaks and not easy to have their comments changes involved heart rate of blood pressure group is all psychological factor for human judgment undermine the ability for human combat to meet effectiveness and ethical demand centers in, in, in <laughs> war and deterrence turn laws of balance war, or power and increase second strike capability when uh, uh, was 19 on a time as well consistent with regard to nuclear powers decreasing the lines to nuclear weapons could end up being a lot of actors in this battle for power perspective that would turn barriers entry for AI and autonomous systems. Okay, uh, would you mind sending a mark doc during CX? Okay, are you good to go? Yep. Uh, status of the counter plan. Conditional. Cool. Uh, the, I guess the Karana evidence uh, about how regulations are good, does the counter plan do these regulations? What, which evidence? The Karana evidence on the arms racing advantage. Yes. Like it's just about regulations generally being good. I think the counter plan, the first plan about all of like the AI mandates are probably examples of regulations. Okay, cool. Uh, the Richard evidence, uh, where does this evidence talk about uh, autonomous NC3? Uh, it talks about like NC3 and uh, in, in the context of AI as well. Um, there are a couple of places. First, it says that as the foundation of a deterrence, we must modernize nuclear capabilities, which is in the context of AI um, because the argument that the 1AC makes is about like why rising AI uh, development in the context of nukes is what's going to lead to arms race, um, which basically internal link turns that part of the app. I forget which card it is, oh, um, but uh, the Bob evidence, which talks about why AI nukes escalate, shows that the reason why that would happen is because uh, a lot of a lot of the technology that's being happened right now allows for AI to be integrated into nukes, which means that increased modernized capabilities in places like NC3 would only make that worse. Okay, sure. cool. Um, this uh, SGR decide, uh is the SGR A1, or which piece of evidence uh, explains that the SGR A1 is a lethal autonomous weapon? I think the Valis Green evidence talks about why. First, it would Perfect. be able to identify uh, intruders and raise the alarm quicker than human sentries, which shows that there's a distinction between like uh, like a human in the loop system and then the SGRA one, which is clearly not that, which means that it is a lethal autonomous weapons. And I think it draws the distinction a couple lines down too. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, the couple lines down, it says that it, it is a human in the loop system. The no, Gady evidence, human, why would- It's reliance on human input allows for targets to escape, which it says is bad. Yeah, okay. Uh, the Gady evidence, uh, why would this escalate larger than just South Korea and North Korea? Well, I don't understand your question. Could you repeat it? The Gady evidence says that North Korea invading South Korea would escalate. My question is why that escalates outside of South Korea and North Korea. A couple of reasons. First is that the DMZ is a highly contested zone because like uh, large powers like the United States, China all have like some sort of say and some sort of like influence over the region, which means that if South Korea- Why does that mean they'd go to war over it? Yeah, I was explaining that. If South Korea was to go to war, then the United States would obviously back them because of long peace treaties that have happened, i.e. things like the nuclear umbrella, allowed the United States to continue to like preserve um, like the preserve like a deterrent capability for South Korea in the SCS, which means that they'd have to back them, as well as like China and North Korea are also like collaborating on um, different nuclear developments as well, which means that if North okay, Korea- Okay, so if everybody gets rid of nukes, why would the United States or China engage in that region? Well, that's the argument. If there are no nukes, then there would be no war. Okay, cool. Um, have you sent that doc? Uh, no, give me a second, I'll send it. Okay, I'll start prep.
Okay, I use 140. Um, let me send the doc. Okay, I just sent the doc. The order is the affirmative, then the counter plan, then the AI decide, then the SGR A1 decide. On the affirmative, it's the second advantage, then the first advantage, the third advantage, and the solvency section. Um, and I can repeat that if anybody needs it. Yeah, you're yeah, good. You repeat that? <laughs> yeah, no problem. The order is the affirmative, the counter plan, the AI decide, the SGR A1 decide. On the affirmative, it's the second advantage, so the cyber stuff, then the first advantage, third advantage, solvency. Um, and I don't know, I might have gone too quickly through that, so I can do it again if you need it. But um, Let me know when y'all are good to go. Can you, I'm sorry, one last time? Yeah, for sure. Um, AC, counter plan, AI decide, SGR decide. On the case, it's the cyber advantage, uh, so the second one, then the first one, which is arms racing, then the third one, which is stability, then the solvency. Okay. Um, and just let me know when everybody's good with the doc and everything. Uh, Kruten, are you good? Thanks. Um, and David, are you good? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, where's my timer? Cool. <clears throat> the plan is a good idea. Going for the cyber attacks advantage. We don't fully understand laws tech, making them extra vulnerable to cyber attacks. Cyber attacks on laws escalate. They hinder communication. Turn <laughs> weapons against allies and are a backdrop for hacking nukes. Extinction nuke. Winner kills free protection and everyone outweighs on time frame. Cyber attacks happen as soon as laws are deployed. Answers all <laughs> neg arguments. Once laws are cyber attacked, they'll be taken offline, which means they have no <laughs> possible benefits. A worst case scenario, firm <laughs> on a risk of offense. There are arguments here. The Richards evidence that just says that modernization is good, but that could be uh, tons of other types of modernization. That's not synonymous, uh, synonymous with fully autonomous nukes. The <laughs> Mueller evidence or the, that they read one point, this says that nuclear terror won't happen. That's clearly not the same thing as cyber attacks because it's not about stealing nukes, but literally just causing them to launch. Stupid is that, yes, it is specific to laws, but all of my evidence talks about the specific ways that laws could be cyber attacked and how those specific things could escalate. The first advantage, the very and Shar evidence, all conceded it answers it doesn't answer my it doesn't answer my advantage because people are going to deploy with autonomous weapons at some points but it does answer the uh, it does answer the ai just said because it indicates that there is no arms race happening the corona evidence you don't do these regulations which means that you don't get access to them even if you regulate other ways the crisis stability advantage the del rey evidence is inevitable it's inevitable that people make a mistake because we don't understand ai which means this is not unique and the horowitz evidence is not unique as well because they haven't said the second strike is bad now the solvency section the affirmative definitely does solve it creates an international ban that causes countries to listen the argument about how we lead to more AI AI, the, the first advantage is specific to how unsafe AI development is bad. They haven't said that this would be unsafe. The goose evidence isn't too vague. It's just a general solvency claim. The Hirsch evidence has no impact. Who cares how accurate they are? And the simple evidence, the CRS evidence in the AF solves because it defines exactly what a lethal autonomous weapon is, the counter plan. Permutation do both. It works because it doesn't matter if laws are necessary to deter nukes if they're gone in the first place, which means that the perm med card doesn't apply. The permutation solves both sets because it gets rid of nukes, which are the terminal impact, and solves AI development. It also cannot solve the case because it would still create lethal autonomous weapons, and then they would be cyber attack leading to conventional war or something like that, which is still worse than the affirmative world. The next is nukes are good. The deterrence evidence from the AF was conceded and indicates, uh, indicates, that, uh, uh, indicates that nuclear weapons deter countries from going to war, but laws would make that worse. That answers the Beckman evidence. It's three years old and is inaccurate by now, whereas mine is a historical meta-analysis. The, the and disarmament is, uh, causes conflict and escalates haze between disarmament causes its ability to create uncertainty for leaders and military punishes about how to ensure security. The states become a high percentage to challenges and react using conventional forces. The leaders are not ready to establish power. The China just had one point. Absolves their uncertainty link. Nobody's uh, China won't be able to elude definitions because the affirmative clearly defines it. Fiat means the uh, China agrees to the affirmative definition when it bans laws that can all cause a primacy. Hypersonic nuclear sub strong missile defense, second strike capabilities, soft power, etc. All contribute to a hedge. One type of attack won't change the balance, especially since no country can have it in the AF world, which means no change and halting military AI 
AI development differs severely from potential civilian use. However, 18. AI military capabilities may not have civilian counterparts. Battle algorithms that coordinate a military operation do not have commercial analogs that run a factory system. And China's rise is inevitable and good, reducing U.S. hedge key to peace here. 19. U.S. objective is no longer achievable. China is not trying to exclude the U.S. Chinese will recognize benefits. U.S. engagement indicator receptivity to peaceful coexistence. China is not trying to expose its political system. It is Beijing wants to extend power, not part of a winner take all context. But U.S. promise is not sustainable. China has a larger share of East Asian trade, cut the credit trade, and link turn laws. And mold leaders and significantly increase the chance of war across by the Wong evidence from the affirmative it was conceded because it creates a lower threshold because human lives aren't at stake which means that it increases the risk of war overall the turn which link turns to decide cut the rest of the cards the SGRA1 decide one point no war uh, uh, North Korea has traded incentive with China the US uh, South Korea has traded incentive with the US both of those stop escalation because they don't want to draw on major powers second no war China would mitigate escalation they don't want to get involved in some huge conflicts especially when the US has uh, the capability to beat them which their evidence isolates so it wouldn't escalate next semi autonomous use of the uh, 19 the SGRA1 automatically detects North Korean soldiers allowing our operator to issue the fire command an autonomous system vulnerable to cyber attacks with the ability to kill human beings is worrisome. Second, or next is no link. SGR isn't an LAW. Ray 18, SGR A1 after criticism grew. South Korea operationalized the permanent inclusion of a human operator decides whether to fire the SGR A1s give you human control. That's human in the loop, which my evidence indicates isn't a law, so the affirmative doesn't ban it. And lastly, SGR kills innocence, creates a condition for escalation. The less green between current robotic sensors cannot distinguish between combatants and non-combatants. How can we know a human on the loop isn't engaging in legitimate targets to avoid losing innocent lives better targeting militaries must ensure systems are in controlled environments? Cut that card at environments, and I didn't read a few on the China Dissad, if you caught those. Yeah, I think I caught it, but just to clarify, it was um, uh, everything below here wasn't read, and where was here marked? Larger share of East Asian trade. Okay, thanks. I'll start five minutes. Did you read any part of Kirsch? Or was it just the analytic? Where was that card? On the China descent? Uh, no, I think I just did the analytic there. Oh, reasons to reject the team. I don't think there were any, pretty sure.
Okay, the order will be the counter plan, the AI race decide, the South Korea decide, and then the case. Where on the case? It'll be the cyber scenario and then uh, solvency. Can we just agree on like a name for all of these arguments? So the AI disad has also been called the China disad. Um, and then the SRGA one disad is, I'm assuming, obviously the South Korea disad. So is that, is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. What were the first two positions? I missed that. I don't need the second two. The, it'll start with the counter plan and then the AI slash China to set. Okay, I'm good. I'm also ready whenever everyone else is. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Um, I'll attach the one card to the body if that's okay. Okay, I'm good now. Okay, great. Not going for the count funnel, concede the permutation, which takes away all of their deterrence good offense. It's just a test of competition. No, they don't get any offense on this page because it doesn't implicate any of the other pages, which means even if they try to extend something in this in the two error, it doesn't matter. The AI arms should just said, I'll concede that fiat, me, uh, I'll concede that fiat means that China agrees, but China rice is not good and it is an independent office. For them, one is just an internal link turn, not an impact turn, which means that even if China rice is good, it doesn't mean that they're able to garner independent offense. Second is that it doesn't answer any of the parallel arguments made on the, no, it doesn't answer any of the argu uh, parallel arguments made on the link page, which means that even, even if China rice is good, there are arguments about trade exceptions, which doesn't matter insofar as China is able to posture nuclear weapons away from AI development, which means our, our, our link always on uh, our link always on specificity independent, independently insofar as China is able to cooperate. That means that the link takes out the internal link turn of China being able to raise the SGRA one. They said here is the explanation of the here's the explanation of the scenario. Deterrence is successful in the DMZ right now, but tensions are rising, which takes out their sort of first two arguments about why trade means that US and China US and China won't join, but they will because because they will because they're already sort of posturing they're already posturing aggressively. I uh, North Korea is sending more <laughs> troops into the DMZ, but there's a clear objective to attack. The only reason that they haven't right now is the SGRE uh, is the SGRE one because it can single handedly take out the entire North Korean army and yeah. top military officials know this. The plan is able to shred deterrence because it has because it gives NOCO a sizable conventional and nuclear advantage of the, and already positioned most of their conventional weapons along the border. But the reason they haven't first strike is yeah. in fear of retaliation, which also proves that which also takes out their sort of arguments about mitigating uh, uh, things about mitigating escalation because the SGRE yeah. one can identify intruders and raise the alarm quicker than human centuries because no yeah. operators can fill in multiple surveillance systems. This is also proven by their evidence clearly drawing the distinction between the two different things about whether yeah. SGRE one is a LAW or not because the Ray evidence is because, because the Ray evidence says that yeah. it's in the context of giving human operator over control. But this contradicts the CB2 evidence, which says that there's two sort of uses of the SGRA one. But yeah. our evidence, our valid screen evidence is specifically in the context of SGRA one being used, yeah. uh, uh, SGRA one being used when it only is able to lethal autonomous with hu uh, when it's only in the autonomous mode with humans out of the loop, which means that our evidence draws the distinction that their own evidence talks about when there's a, allowing human operators to fire command and when there's all and when there's human are not on the command, which proves that our uh, which proves that which proves that it definitely is. It definitely does link to the dissent. The, 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 it definitely does link to the F. The reason it causes land evasion is because it draws in global powers. The, the, there are two scenarios here. First is that the US and China are already heavily committed to the reason to preserve their brand of politics, just like the original Korean, just like the original Korea war. This always any sort of marginal benefits that they would get from things like trade exceptions because they have to preserve their sort of model of world, i.e. authoritarianism versus democracy, which means that this is a larger conflict that that, that, that goes beyond just a couple of peace processes. Second is that the South Korea is under the US nuclear umbrella, which means that it is inevitable that the US gets drawn in to preserve alliance credibility. If they don't, if the United States doesn't get dried in. That turns the case because it means that they're because it means that they're rolling back the international agreements that the, the international agreements like the one AC, especially in the context of their own solvency evidence, which says that they have enforced things like the, C, the CWC as a past precedent for the plan. This ensures nuclear war. There's no other time because the second Korean war for a cause Kim Jong Un to unleash a massive nuclear arsenal, which guarantees that only North Korea survives. This turns an always the case and means one percent risk of a link is sufficient to gate. There's a three arguments here. First is magnitude. Nuclear war would cause extinction. Rising sea as a result of radiation collapse of the ozone and disastrous collapse. There is no impact extended in the 
know one air for what things like <gasps> launch would happen, which means that you should air heavily negative insofar as we've already specific scenario for which country is going to first strike and how that scenario is going to happen, which also moves that it outweighs on specificity and means that you should air negative here. The one argument that they have for time frame, no, the Gady evidence is that 200 to 300,000 million, 200 to 300,000 military people would plus 100k more civilians would die in the first few days, which is a much more specific warrant for what sort of time frame would happen as a result of the of, as a result of things like nuclear escalation. You should prefer this on quantifiability since your evidence doesn't say that every living person would die or what sort of system or what would happen once the systems are taken uh, 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 line, etc., which proves that their uh, sort of impact is functionally meaningless. This also uh, turns the case that the SGR one is key to preserve circuit sovereignty because even if they win a risk of any of their link terms, the link must always, since North Korea is the largest possible threat in the SES and allowing them to, to bypass other agreement is necessary to ensure the existence of the country, which means that if the two air sort of goes for the international yeah. agreements being able to solve things like uh, be, uh, international agreements being able to solve things like South Korea developing their own uh, autonomous weapons and uh, 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 being able to develop their own autonomous weapons, you should uh, you should frame this through a question of whether South Korea should be able to have sovereignty in the region to prefer the threats. Now, the, the evidence proper first, the CB2 evidence was uh, the CB2 evidence proves that there are the proves that there is the proves that semi-autonomous use is distinct from yeah. things like LAWs, which also proves that there is a link. At best, there's a marginal risk of uh, uh, lethal autonomous weapons being bad, but you should weigh this against South Korean sovereignty in the region because there's a hundred percent risk of North Korea being able to invade if they are if the South Korea doesn't have any sort of any sort of capabilities to wipe out their entire army, which means that uh, wipe out their entire army, which uh, wipe out their entire army. The second is that semi-autonomous use doesn't solve. There's absolutely no warrant in this evidence. It just says that they're able to issue or fire commands, but there's no argument for why that is. Uh, uh, there's no argument for why this is uh, why this is bad or why what 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 happens in the context of things like semi-autonomous what uh, semi-autonomous use. The Ray evidence and the Velocity Evidence Group uh, group them here first is that the DMZ has entered in a new age of automated deterrence, which proves that the SGR one is able to promote peace and uh, SGR one promotes peace. Velocity fifteen robotic agents coming out to argues lost below the threshold for conflict and doors and In fact, the SGR one can bring universal ban unless the city die circuit leaders and invaluable truth for deterrence off threatening laws in, uh, in blanket terms. Second is the second is that the second is that even if they win that it doesn't create a, 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 even if they win that it creates some sort of risk of escalation you should again you should, you should again view this through a question of south korea being able to preserve their sovereignty over the over the over just a slight risk of innocence second is that their own valid green evidence that they read is not even in the context of sgr1 it's in the context of other things like robotic sensors which are a human on the loop system which is distinct from the sgr1 which is human out of the loop system which is what their own ray evidence says which proves that the automation come the that you should air heavily negative on whether sgr1 is an automated system and if you buy our evidence that proves that they don't get access to any of the link terms which proves that they don't have any sort of offense or defense on this dissent which means a one percent risk of a link is sufficient to negate now the cyber arguments the, the, argue, the arguments that i have to answer here are the sort of circumvention arguments but this was already answered first is that the sgr1 proves that there is will be some sort of uh, will be some sort of circumvention because it means that south korea will be given the spot will be given the spotlight that spotlight is good and doesn't detract from the international norms that the AF talked about but does strengthen the SES because it allows for u.s control which is what their own sovereignty evidence talks about to expand its control over over into places like china second the second is that the time frame or the time frame argument that doesn't apply and flips negative because it means that the sequence in question of how South Korea is able to position the nukes comes before cyber attacks being taken offline. Um, okay, uh, 320 left. Can you re-explain the circumvention argument? I'm having trouble understanding it. Uh, yes, so the AF, wait one second. Um... Yeah, the AF's argument for why like international norms are good um, and like the solvency section uh, would like be circumvented because South Korea allowing uh, like allowing South Korea to keep their lethal autonomous weapons goes against international norms per the 1AC. Okay, and why does that happen in the AF world? I'm not sure what you, like what's your question? Like what's the link to this argument? I guess uh, that's the part I don't understand. Yeah, the AF says international norms, South Korea breaks that, and it's good. OK, cool. Thanks.
Okay. Uh, the order is the affirmative on the cyber attacks advantage, and then it is the South Korea SGR, whatever you want to call it. Is everyone good? Okay, perfect. The plan is a good idea. We don't fully understand laws tech making it vulnerable to cyber attacks that escalate, they hinder communication, turn weapons against allies under a backdoor for hacking, nukes, extinction, nuke winner kills, for protection in everyone. Outweighs in time frame, cyber attacks happen as soon as laws are deployed. I'll extend the argument that it answers all negative arguments. Uh, once laws or cyber attacks will be taken offline, which means they have no possible benefits or worst case scenario, a permanent risk of offense. That means that if North Korea wanted to just cyber attack the SGRA1, then it could get rid of it, and then the distance scenario could happen. So the distance scenario is inevitable. If inevitable because laws are going to be cyber attacks the sovereignty impact doesn't make any sense here because they will just be cyber attacks and then they will invade there's no sort of a, there's no sort of months afterward to, to, to debate about to, to debate about south korea's sovereignty and stuff like that because their evidence indicates that it would already have been destroyed by north korea so this definitely thumps the negative argument the circumvention argument they make in the two uh, screws over the two and our it puts them in a double bind either the circumvention argument is true but the way i understand it at least and the way it was explained in flex prep is that it means that the, the south korea will circumvent the affirmative ban and ban and keep the sjr keep the SGRA1, but if that's the case, then there is no link to the disad because South Korea will keep it anyway. So if they're winning the circumvention argument, it proves that there's no link to the disad, but they, you probably shouldn't give them the circumvention argument. The affirmative would create an, create an international norm that leads to a stigma around keeping lethal autonomous weapons. I.e. South Korea, the 2 our proves that South Korea values its ties with the U.S. and shit like that, so it wouldn't just violate something that puts it at the U.S.'s behest or something like that, which means that it wouldn't violate anyways, the disad. There is simply no link to the dis side. I'm going for the ray evidence. First, I'll explain the distinction between in the loop versus out of the loop weapons. In the loop means that humans have some control over the final decision. Out of the loop means humans have no control. The SGRA1 used to be used to have the option to be either of those systems. That's what the Velez Green evidence says, and that's what the Siwa Booter evidence from the 1AR says. Both of these are from a few years ago, and they say that the SGRA1 initially had the opportunity to be fully autonomous. How the, the had the opportunity to be fully autonomous. However, it is not like that anymore. The ray evidence indicates that after backlash about the SGRA1 being fully autonomous, South Korea permanently decided to make it a human in the loop system because they didn't want that backlash. This evidence outweighs theirs. First, on recency, it's from 2018. Obviously, your evidence from 2015 can't account for a change to the SGRA1 that South Korea made in 2018, which means that my evidence is just better. Second is that my evidence takes an exact stance. It's a direct quote from the South Korean government talking about what the SGRA1 is, whereas their Belez Green evidence sort of looks at what Samsung has and hasn't released at tw in 2015 and tries to draw a conclusion from it, which means that my evidence is just better on the question of whether or not it is fully autonomous. They have conceded the CRS evidence from the affirmative that says that only fully autonomous weapons Weapons are lethal autonomous weapons. Anything else like, is controlled by a human and cannot be thought of as autonomous. This means two things. First, it means no link because the affirmative will not ban the SGRA1. Second, is it means that the SGRA1 is already semi-autonomous. It's been that way for three years now, and it's already working. So it proves that there is no impact to the disset because it's already semi-autonomous and it's working. The AF doesn't ban it. Worst case, South Korea would just circumvent, and then the AF still wouldn't ban it. So you vote AF on stopping other cyber attacks. Good debate. Good debate.